Hi everyone, today I'll show you how to create a free pop-up to collect form submissions and trust me when I say it's going to be lightning fast, including the segmentation of your pop-up campaign. So if you're ready, let's begin. Go to popupsmart.com. If you don't have an account, no worries, it's free, you can create one quickly and then continue with new campaign. Let's enter the campaign name, let's say form submission, then we should choose a domain and save it. From the playbook section, you can see all the ready-to-use pop-up templates. We have the animated ones, we have the multi-step ones only. You can use the filters right here to see the pop-ups that's gonna serve your purposes. So because I want to collect form submissions, I will click collect form submission on the left-hand panel and I will see my options. So I will choose this one. I think I can just change it according to my needs but this one looks pretty good so I just want to show you what would I do if I wanted to change the image only maybe you want to add your logo here so this is how you do it and we have the success page as well you can just customize it according to your needs so we have the form element right here for the email address but you can just add phone number if you want or you can just add um, address, date, and rating as well. So I'm happy with the customized step, so let's continue with style. You can see the theme engine right here. You can just click and change your pop-up. It looks completely different. So let's see, this one looks good. So I will click apply theme, but this is already the theme that I'm using. So let's continue with size. And then we have the position of the pop-up. From the body style, I can change the background color. Mm, maybe this, maybe not. Okay. Then I can add an image as a background or I can add a lot of animation as a background as well. I can add overlay to make my pop-up more eye-catching. I can change it, its shape and then I have the opening effect right here. From text size and font, I can just add new fonts to my pop-up. I can change the te text font and I can change its size as well. Then scroll down from the form style. You can change the style of your forms. You can even add a background fill. Maybe blue. Maybe white is good. Okay. So we have the button style as well. We can make it circular too. And then we have the close button style as well. So if you're happy, you can continue with advanced, ste advanced um, customization steps, but basic is good for many businesses. So if you're happy, you can continue with segments. So you can click change segment to see all the predefined segments we have ready to use. Let's say uh, new visitors welcome, form submissions, it's good for my goal. Let's apply and edit. As you can see, it's ready to use, but from the audience section, for example, you can add new audience targeting, or from the user behavior targeting, you can add new targeting options as well. Let's choose exit intent, for example. Okay, I'm happy, so I will save my pop-up and I'll continue with publish. This is where you will see the targeting summary. These are all the targeting options that we have set. We have the autoresponder, self email notification, and we have integrations, as you can see. And lastly, we have the Google Analytics, if you want to integrate with it. I will publish my pop-up now and I will show you how it looks on my website. So, this is how the pop-up looks on my website. So go ahead and create your first pop-up for free at popupsmart.com and let me know in the comments how you like it. Enjoy!